The Galaxy S24 is proof that Google won the smartphone battle a couple years ago. Now, some of you guys were asking me to kind of share my thoughts and feelings on the Samsung Galaxy S24, on the approach that Samsung took with this generation of devices. And I didn't really feel compelled to do it because I don't feel like the S24 is that compelling of a device. Now, there are some hardware upgrades um, and those seem like really cool hardware upgrades. We have a slightly bigger screen, cool, slimmer bezels, slimmer bezels, always awesome. Uh, we have higher resolution, which kind of takes us back to the Samsung Galaxy S20 days or the days of the older Samsung devices, um, which is great. All of them now have LTPO displays. Again, awesome. You're gonna get a better user experience, better battery life, and you're not gonna have to sacrifice having a high refresh rate. But, we still have the same GN3 main sensor for the cameras of the S24 and S24 Plus, same identical sensor for the S24 Ultra. Uh, we have the same 10 megapixel 3X camera, the same F2.4, or same the F2.2 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. We have a new SOC, which is going to be a little bit faster, a little more power hungry, a little, little bit more efficient um, and be able to play games better. We have slightly bigger batteries, 100 million hours on the S24 and the S24 Plus model. But what really felt like the star of the show in this announcement from Samsung was the software and Samsung AI. Galaxy AI, Galaxy AI will help you. AI help on body of AI. Generative AI open. Galaxy AI. And the fact that Samsung is now using AI and software as kind of their unique selling point in the smartphone industry the fact that we now see Samsung really focusing on software as their unique selling point tells us that smartphone specs don't really matter anymore. Like you're probably not gonna be able to feel a difference between a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. And cameras without making the actual physical hardware bigger haven't gotten that much better. I mean, we can always put better lenses in front of them, but Samsung is too cheap to do that. They're not gonna give you a faster F-stop uh, because that might encroach on some of the capabilities of the S24 Ultra model because lenses are more important than the sensor in most cases. All of the features and all of these unique selling points that Samsung was talking about seem to be lifted straight from Pixel with like much less regulation and much, much more kind of openness and freedom for what that AI stuff will do for you, um, which is great. And I think that uh, smartphone manufacturers focusing on software over hardware is like an awesome move. The thing is that Google's entire strategy since Google launched the Pixel 6 was, we're gonna give you great hardware. It might not be the best hardware, but we're gonna give you great hardware. It's gonna be better than a lot of our prior models, but we want to give you our own SOC that's kind of tailored for the things that we want. And it hasn't been perfectly smooth for Google. As someone that's had a Pixel 6, a Pixel 6a, a Pixel 7 Pro, a Pixel 7a, and now I have a Pixel 8 Pro, I can tell you that there's definitely some cases that the lacking in hardware specs definitely kind of bites the pixel in the butt. But it seems as if Samsung taking this strategy is kind of admitting defeat, or at least admitting that the strategy of putting hardware first might not have been the best strategy. And that ultimately, if all of the smartphones are going to be really, really powerful, it's software that people buy on. That's all I have to really say about the S24. I think it's gonna be a great device. I'm happy to see that Samsung is working on their software. Let's compete on software.